Hey guys, I know you've been asking me to do some video tutorials lately on iMovie and other various programs. So I'm going to start out with something that has been fairly asked a lot. I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome intro in iMovie HD and GarageBand and iMovie 08. So, here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to have these three programs, GarageBand, iMovie HD, and iMovie 08, obviously. Now, all new Macs should come with iMovie 08 and GarageBand, but not with iMovie HD. If you want to get iMovie HD, then you're going to have to Google download iMovie HD. There should be a link on the Apple site. Don't download the update pack. That only works if it's already installed. Try to get the whole program. Now, if you have an old Mac that doesn't have iMovie 08, then it won't look as nice. So, you can figure out how to do it in iMovie HD. So first we're going to open up iMovie HD, then create a new project, and we're going to call it Intro Movie. You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And we're going to select the video format DV because it looks nice. You can choose whatever else you want, but MPEG4 looks ugly, EyeSight is okay, and these are fairly big for YouTube. And the widescreen one doesn't look as nice on YouTube because they use the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. Anyhow, we're going to create our new project. And we have iMovie HD up here. Um, so, what we're going to do first is click on this Themes tab. As you can tell, we've got all these nice little thumbnails here. I know it sounds like Bob Ross, but whatever. Um, they all contain video clips with gray areas that you can put your own media into. For example, here's Bumper 3. We've got the three boxes that we can put our digital content into and our titles. So what we're going to do is take some digital content that we have in our hard drive. You guys might have videos or photos, wherever they're saved. What you're going to want to do is just drag them to your desktop, somewhere where they're convenient. If you have photos that are in iPhoto, they won't be located in their own file types. They'll be located in a library file. So you're going to have to go into iPhoto, if you have your library in there, and just drag the desired photo onto the desktop, like so. And movies, just drag them to the desktop. So what we're going to do is choose the theme that we want. I want to use um, something that's a little different. This has been seen on the Tech Factor. We're going to call it um, Tech Factor Intro, but it's called Open, this little thumbnail here. And we got three drop zones that we can put media into. Now note that not all of the themes have three drop zones. Some have two, some have one. So be careful with which media you put in. We're going to put this picture of my track mate on the left, this picture of the track on the right, and this picture of me in the middle. And you can tell it looks very nice. Now if you want to rearrange something, you can just drag things out, put James on the right, and put the track on the left. I think that looks a little bit nicer. Now as you can tell, it says Title 1. You can always change that over here. Let's call it Track and Field. and see what it looks like. When you're done putting things in to your um, media, you can close out of this drop zone box. And that looks really cool. So what we're going to do now is click apply. It's going to drop this into our timeline here, and that looks really cool. It's going to be rendering, that's what the little progress bar stands for. Now while that's doing that, we'll minimize it, and let's open up GarageBand for our music. If you have a music that you'd like out of iTunes, you can skip this step and do the audio work yourself, but I like GarageBand clips. So we're going to create a new music project, and we're going to call it Intro Song. Close out of this grand piano, delete the grand piano track, and let's go down to uh, our clips um, viewer. Now if you don't know how to delete a track, just hit select it and hit command delete. What we're going to do now is click the podcast view and then click on jingles. And we've got different categories here. We've got cinematic, country, electronic, jazz, orchestral, rock slash blues, urban, and world. Now let's go with something that's 
really cool. Um, let's see what we've got here. Let's go into all effects just to see what we've got. There's all sorts of songs you can choose from. Now if you want to check the length of something, you can just drag it up here and easily see that it is 11 seconds long. And then just drag it back down there if you don't want it. Drag it up there. Perfect! This one is the perfect length. So now what we can do is share this. What we're going to do is hit share in the menu bar and export this song to disk. Then we can just leave the settings as they are, they sound fine, and export it. It's going to go to your desktop. You can choose wherever you want, and it's going to be called um, your project file, so we can just save that. And boom! It is now on the desktop. We can close out GarageBand now. I don't save it. You can do what you want. Now we'll pull up iMovie again. What we're going to do now is share this. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky because depending on what service you're going to upload this to, um, you're going to want to choose different settings. So what we're going to do is export this to QuickTime. I'll choose uh, to this full quality one. We'll share that, put it on the desktop. And this will take not much time because you're not really compressing it, it's just exporting it. iMovie's lying. And it's just finishing up. Now we can close out of iMovie. Now we're going to pull up iMovie 08. Okay, as we can see here we got the iMovie 08 interface. What we're going to want to do is import our movie. So we're going to file, import movies, and then click on our intro, D drag the intro DV into the finder. And you can move or copy the files depending on what you like. And we're going to create a new event. Let's call it intro movie. And you can import 1080i video as, as you like. This isn't 1080i though, so we, sh we should be fine. And we're going to import that. And uh, here we go. Now we're going to want to create a new project. So click File, New Project, Intro Movie. And make sure that the resolution, I mean the aspect ratio is 4.3, standard. Create it. Now we're going to drag our title up there into the media area. And we still got no audio, we haven't messed with our GarageBand thing yet, so let's go put our GarageBand song in there. See what it sounds like. Now, uh, as you see, the movie actually, the song actually ends as the movie ends. So it might, it will have no movie during your title. However, if you want to do that, you can always select a longer clip and drag it as you please. So let's stick on a title. Um, choose any title that you want. We got some nice ones here. I'm gonna use Torn Edge Black. That's what I normally use. Let's call this Episode One. and we'll have some random description okay now it seems that this has fallen into our songs range which is really odd let's see what it sounds like Okay, that's how you make a really nice intro.